What's going on YouTube, Carlos, aka USS Too Fast, bringing another video for you guys. So there's been a lot of anticipation lately ever since I posted my last video. People have been questioning, you know, what the sponsorship company, uh, or which company uh, decided to sponsor me and everything like that. And I've been excited just as much as you guys have been. Been waiting, patiently waiting, but finally the rims are in. Finally picked up the tires as well. And I know all of you have been waiting for this. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Right, first things first, I want to give a huge shout out to Black Diamond Wheel Company. Uh, that's the company that I'm going to be sponsor sponsored by, and I'm definitely going to be uh, representing them at every show that I go to here on out. So Black Diamond Wheel, definitely check them out. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. I'm honored to be you know representing them, but no more of that. Let's go ahead and check what's inside the box. gentlemen right now you were looking at the black diamond bd 21s in 20 inch over to the left that's a 20 by 10 and a half for the front over to the right we have a set of 20 by 11 and a half in the rear and then after this i'm going to go ahead and go downstairs and show you the tires that i ended up getting for these uh, rims but i ended up going with this uh, silver with this chrome lip if you look closely it's got a chrome lip on it i really wasn't into the look but it kind of grew on me. Like I said, if you watched my last video, I said I wanted to be different. Uh, I wanted my car to stand out. So I did want to go with the black BD21s, but it was really hard for me to go with the same black look and everything like that. So I wanted to switch it up. I cannot wait to get these on the car. I'm absolutely excited. Um, I'm actually going to get these uh, ceramic coated this Sunday, and then I'm going to get them... Uh, mounted and balanced on Tuesday and then try to get those up. So the next video that I will be posting will be my car With these new rims and the new tires that we'll go check out here soon Absolutely love these rims in person They come in multiple finishes off the top of my head. I know they come in uh, black obviously uh, Gold they can come in a black with a chrome lip and even custom colors if you ever sh uh, shoot out an email to them So huge shout out to black diamond make sure you go check them out uh, they got some videos on YouTube that you can check out with most m multiple cars with uh, these rims and all the other collections that they offer. But if you look closely, yes, I'll still look going for the uh, deep concave look. That's exactly what I wanted. I absolutely love them. So one more time, 11 and a half rears and these are 10 and a half fronts. And now we're going to go ahead and go downstairs and check out the tires. wonder if you'd guess what I got all right so for the rear Nittos yep NT55 R's 305 in the rear 3520 this is also another obviously NT55 and then for the fronts I went with the uh, Nitto G2's and a 275 in the front I don't even got to open it show you anything like that I mean that's what it looks like so Nitto G2's are gonna be in the front 275's 305's in the rear when the uh, guy over at where I bought these tires, discount tire, so I was able to use my military discount. Uh, when he bought these back, or brought these to the front from the back, these looked way bigger than my 315s in person. Now, I don't know if it's because they're so meatier and everything, but these look freaking absolutely insane. Can't wait to get these on. These are definitely a game changer, along with the G2s. So, G2s in the front, 555Rs in the rear, 305s, 35s, 20s. Boom. 
and obviously I wanted them in the plastic when they put them in my car because they were rolling them out and everything like that. I didn't want to get that dirt. But uh, at the same time, I'm hoping these are going to be, these are definitely going to dead hook way better than the Lexani ones just because the Lexanis are for fitting the uh, 22s. These are Nittos and I don't even got to explain anything about Nittos. Everyone knows, you know, uh, what Nittos are capable of doing. So that's good to go. Uh, nothing against 315. I absolutely love it. 315 and I had no problems whatsoever. And I'm going to go ahead in this video answer some of the questions. For some reason, I've been having a lot of questions asked uh, of me about my 315s that I have on right now. So, let's open this up. So, like I said in my last video, these 22 inch Velgans are for sale. Yes, I do have a couple buyers in mind who are thinking about purchasing them, but none of them have pulled the trigger yet. So remember, these are 22 inch Velgan Classic 5s. <clears throat> Rims and tires, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, Lexani all season tires. 265 in the front and 315 in the rear. And for some reason, I've been having a lot of questions asking me if these 315s rub at all especially with the um, new Eibach springs. No, they do not rub. You have plenty of space all the way around. Okay, I know I can't really tell you or show you or anything like that, but nothing's ever hitting the wheel well whatsoever, okay? You might have one, possibly two fingers right here with the uh, new springs on, but this has never hit. Now, obviously, if you're gonna try to go 30, 40, 50 miles per hour over a speed bump or something like that, there's a possibility you might be doing some damage. But if you're smart about it, obviously you know with the new kit, you're not gonna be doing that type of speed over that. Uh, up in the front, I have never hit either. I haven't had any problems with the 265 in the front whatsoever, even with the new uh, springs. So hopefully I clear that up with some questions that I had over my Instagram account and uh, questions up on YouTube as well. So 315 in the rear, 265 in the front. Didn't have any problems whatsoever. Now, I'm not sure if you even noticed some of my pictures on Instagram that I've been posting. I haven't been able to get a good view from the top of the car, but I did install an American flag. It's a distress look on top of my car. I absolutely love it. I think it's so sick. Huge shout out to uh, my buddy Steve, AKA Chicago Scat Pack. I like to call him the Chicago Scat Pack. That's all who matters. And Paul from Family Cruising. They helped me out, they helped me finish it up, but there it is, hopefully you get a good good look of it, but I'm trying to get a, um, a better picture of it uh, come summertime. And on top of that, I did purchase this from Spoiler King on Amazon. I think it looks awesome. Um, nothing major though, you know, it just gives it a different look. Absolutely love it. And I also had to replace my JLT splash guards. Now the original clips when I first bought these were absolutely horrible. They kept on popping out so I had to you know use something else in order to keep them in. Well when I purchased the new ones because I lost the other few uh, they came with new clips. The new clips are absolutely fantastic. They fit properly in the holes and I also added a little screw right there at the bottom to make sure that this does not come off. So this is not gonna come off unless it takes the freaking car with it or the framing of the car, which I got no problem with it. So those things are gonna stay on uh, forever now. But I cannot wait to get the new rims and tires on. I'm absolutely excited. Like I said, I'll be taking the new rims uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, to a guy I know named Mike. He's gonna go ahead and ceramic coat them. Then I'm gonna get them uh, put on the tires on Tuesday and then hopefully that same day I'll be able to put them on the car. So the next video you will be seeing will be the tires and rims on the car and you know I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm I'm excited. I can't wait and yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just want to keep you updated on what's going on with my Daytona. I hope you guys also like the rims. Really excited. Cannot wait to get them on this upcoming week. A uh, huge shout out to Black Diamonds one more time. Make sure you check them out, blackdiamonds.com. They have tons of wheel collections. I ended up going with the BD21s, and I know I've said it over and over and over, but I'm really excited. Can't wait to see this new look. So if 
you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, hit me up in the comment section. DM me about my rims or anything like that. Any questions you may have, I am here for y'all. This is the reason why I started doing these things. But I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.